Hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, I was about to enter the Chantry over here in Haven. Um, so prepare yourselves for some somewhat moderately disturbing scenes. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and Beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brother, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far. <laughs> I love all of these. Enough! We're well past pretending this village is normal. Or, you killed the Knights of Redcliffe. I saw the bodies. And I found blood-stained altars. Knives. What's going on? And your people aren't very welcoming. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one just because I like it, narratively speaking. You killed the Knights of Redcliffe. I saw the bodies. This, my brothers, is what happens when you let an outsider into the village. They have no respect for our privacy. She will tell others of us if we let her. Word will spread, and then what? You, stranger, do not understand our ways. You would bring war to Haven in your ignorance. What about Brother Genitivi? What have you done to him? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Um... No. Only one shall stand! I'm going to take out Iris real fast. Because he clearly deserves to be put out. Where did these guards come from? Were they just conveniently here? Grammar charm. Eirik. What have you? Let, uh, cultist medallion. But yes, we shall- How did you get the blood on the table? I mean, ew. Inscribed chest? Ring of faith and small silver bar. Oh yeah, silver bars. Silver bars, silver bars. Why am I singing in Haven? Guard. Oh yeah, I already skipped over you. And what have you? And let's explore this area, which has a couple of chamber-like areas. Is there anything over here? No, there wasn't. Okay, I thought there was. But clearly things are not well in, in Haven. Brick wall. It opened. What's going on here? There's a man! Brother Genitivi! I'm gonna wait on talking with him. Because there's stuff in here I want to explore first. I know, I know. Fortunately, like I said before many times... This game, like most RPGs, moves at the speed of plot. I think I've got everything in here. So, Haven, serve, and Brother Genitivi. Who are you? They, they sent you to finish it. I'm Lorelai. I'm here to help you. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh. The leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Wynn, can you help? I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in order to heal. 
Don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. Urn. I need to find the ashes. Arl Eamon gets sicker by the day. The Arl is sick. Will he live? The Arl was poisoned under Loghain's orders. Politics never did anyone any good. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes... The ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what that key is. Do you? Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Oh, this medallion? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Could you answer some answers? Could you answer some questions for me first? All right. What is on your mind? Do you know about the knights who were sent to look for you? <sighs> yes, of course. How could I forget? Eirik said they were ambushed. Some killed. A few brought back to Haven to be questioned. He was so self-righteous about it, so smug. He seemed pleased that he had tortured and murdered these men. Isolde sent the knights to find you when the Jarl fell ill. I see. She must have been desperate. She couldn't have known she was sending them to their deaths. Let's just talk about something else now, shall we? I think we can loop back to that conversation. Haven, it's a little odd, isn't it? <laughs> well, it wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. Why does Haven have revered fathers? I do not know. When the Chantry was established, it was decided that only female priests would ever be ordained. It is possible that the villagers, and the disciples of Andraste, predate the Chantry and so have no knowledge of the Chantry's rules. What do you know about Haven and its people? They call themselves the disciples of Andraste. They are very, very devoted. One could say fanatically so. One they could. They must be here to protect the urn, but they speak of Andraste as though... as though she was still alive. That's impossible. Uh, is that possible? I'm old enough to know that anything is possible, child. Was child? there something else you wanted to discuss? What were the villagers doing with you? They seemed intent on finding out personal information about me. Where I grew up, things like that. They were planning to place a fake genitivi in Denrum. How do you know? There was an imposter wailing at your house. An imposter? What happened to the real Wayland? <laughs> Found his body stuffed body stuffed in a box. No, I'm sorry, but he's dead. Oh, poor Waylon. I should never have dragged you into this. Make us take you into his hands, my boy. I'm sorry. Oh, Wayland died protecting your research. He believed in me. Even when I lost faith in myself. I will honor his memory. Was there... Was there uh, something else you wanted to say? I was hoping you could answer a few questions I have. All right. What is on your mind? Oh. Uh, the ashes will cure our Lehman, won't they? I certainly hope the ashes will save him. The legends speak of their miraculous powers. There are many stories of pilgrims being healed, the blind seeing, and the lame dancing in joy. Perhaps it is Andraste that does this. Perhaps it is belief itself. By believing the ashes are magical, you make them so. And I'm out of time for this installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins, but I hope to see you next time where I continue this conversation with Brother Jin TV. So far, it's been quite enlightening. Hope to see you then.